Hello and welcome to Shift Shop Prep Week. I need to let you know that I am doing these little videos and reminders and things that we will see as we go through this journey together as much for you as I am for me because they help keep me on track and I'm coming to you today from my breakfast table. Um, hello. Uh, looking, I know, ridiculous, but I'm getting ready to go take my pups out for a run. I try to take them out as much as possible in between um, at-home workout programs. And since I just finished one and we're going to be diving into another real soon, I promised them I would take them out today. So I am actually drinking my pre-workout and thought I would just hop on here to get us all squared away to start off correctly. So today is the first day of prep week for our shift shop challenge. And I am super, super excited that you have chosen um, to do this alongside me because I can tell you from personal experience with the shift shop that uh, we will see some amazing results as far as um, definition, endurance increase, uh, muscle definition, increasing our endurance, um, Increasing our strength, weight loss, uh, if that's what you're, if that's what we're shooting for, and just um, really just the overall discipline and feeling like a boss because this is a legit program, but it's awesome. And let us not go into it being scared because every single workout includes a modifier. And if you don't know what a modifier is, um, think about like 21 Day Fix. We get to know Kat really well. She's a great modifier. Um, and every program that I've done uh, at home <clears throat> always includes a modifier so that we can always keep moving, keep doing the program, but if we need to just like catch our breath and not die, uh, we can drop to doing the modifiers workout and then get back into it. So with that being said, you should have, uh, if you don't already have in your possession, you should have very soon some things so you got deluxe workouts you got recipe guide you actually got the dvds um, which is the way they used to come before netflix of fitness came on so i guess they just sent those out as a little bonus you got agility markers these are going to become like your super cool friends they're really awesome and then a jump start guide okay if you did not um, get if you haven't received these yet which um, or if you won't be getting those then all you need to do is log into Beachbody on your Beachbody on demand account and you're gonna go to you're gonna select select shift shop and then go to program materials and all of this stuff that I just showed you in its nice printed glossy form is actually digitally available. So either if you're waiting for the hard copies or you're not going to be receiving the hard copies anytime soon, you can go in here. Okay. So right here under program materials, for example, you can see there's the jumpstart guide. I don't know if you could see that, but anyways, um, there's the workout calendar, score sheets, everything that you possibly would need. Okay. So I highly recommend going in there um, if you don't already have these and printing out or at least saving the PDFs for the jumpstart guide and the uh, workout calendar and I think that's all we would probably need right away. But there's also recipe, I mean everything's in there. So anyways, um, what I wanted to speak to specifically was on the back of your jump start guide track your shift okay take a look at this and you're going to want to snap some before photos and do your measurements and numbers before your first workout okay and we'll talk about when your first workout is going to be in just a moment that's going to be up to you okay um literally kind of leaving it up to up to you but um you want to do this now you do not have to share your photos okay but i promise you that if you take them and you save them in your phone or somewhere safe that you'll be so thankful that you did because sometimes depending on the time of the month or how much salt we've had or just whatever the number on the scale um, might not always be the perfect indicator on a day-to-day -day basis of whatever progress we're making but i guarantee you that if you commit with me for this three-week program 
that your photos are gonna show a difference. So ideally, what you wanna do is get in front of a, a blank uh, wall or something, or something that's not too busy, pick a sports bra um, and some workout shorts or a bikini, if you have one, I don't, um, and wear it. You can either have a spouse or a friend take the pictures, or if this is only, you don't wanna do that, you use your friendly timer on your phone, set a 10 second timer, stand up, do, 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 do the front, the back, the side, and then you're gonna do the exact same when we're finished, ideally wearing the exact same outfit in front of the exact same wall, okay? So, that's so important. I can tell you that in the two years that I have been um, on this new journey, I have never heard anyone regret taking their before photos um, when they get to the end of a program because they have them with afters to compare to. I have heard many times photo people being so bummed out that they didn't take photos. And I get it's scary. You do not have to share them unless you want to, but you want to make sure to do that, okay? Now, like I said, we're going to talk about when the first workout is going to be. So as I mentioned earlier, this is prep week, okay? Now, if you look at the jump start guide and at the workout calendar, okay, so on the hard copy, the back is the jump start guide, the front is the calendar. If you're printing it out, it's two different documents. This is prep week, and Chris Downing, who is the amazing super trainer who's gonna kick our booty and make us feel like rock stars, which we are, um, he has little workouts for us to do six days out of this first week, okay? This though, I'm gonna leave it up to you. For Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, okay? Those, do them if you want to. I encourage you to do them because these are each 15 minutes long. So like you can go for a run or you can do your yoga or your Pilates or your 21 day fix or whatever and still do this. What Chris is doing in these first four workouts is just teaching us to get familiar with the moves and teaching us his workout style. Um, so it's, it could, it's really, in my opinion, worth the 15 minutes, okay? Um, and it'll give you an idea of how there is a modifier available so you won't be screwed, okay? So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, these are up to you. Do them all, do none of them, do some of them. I would love to know what you do. Um, then, however, Friday and Saturday, these are ones that we want to do for sure, okay? And there's a reason, because it's called the Proving Grounds. And <clears throat> that is new to the Shift Shop program from when I did it a year and a half ago. So Proving Grounds is where we actually log how well we do during these workouts. He's gonna push us and ask us to see like, how many reps can you do? How long can you go? Da, da, da. And we're gonna log it. And then throughout the program, these Proving Grounds days, we're gonna challenge ourselves to beat our best, okay? Beat our personal record or whatever. So it's just a personal friendly competition to keep us moving forward and challenging ourselves, okay? So the Friday and Saturdays, you've gotta do these because we need those as benchmarks to start. Now. Sunday is again optional. You can either rest or you can do um, what's, I think it's the shift mobility. Yes, shift mobility. It's like a stretching awesome thing that you will want to do, I promise. Okay? So, uh, the other thing in the jump start guide that I wanted to show you is these are the things that you're going to need. Okay? So, you get your agility markers. Uh, if you don't have your agility markers in the mail yet, you can actually print out. Um, Print some out, they'll move around a lot on the floor, but it's fine, you know, whatever. Uh, those, that's what these are, okay? And then you wanna have some dumbbells, just light hand weights um, or whatever you have, okay? Um, your score sheets, okay, so your score sheets, um, are going to be in your Beach Body On Demand where I said you're going to go to program materials and let me tell you calendar and tracking. Yes, yeah, so they're going to be under calendar and tracking under Shift Shop, program materials, calendar and tracking. So you want to print out your score sheets or you can actually um, open them up as PDFs and they're editable in there if you're just like all hoity-toity. Now it talks about Shakeology and Beachbody performance. As I mentioned before, I am encouraging, in fact, really almost insisting for your benefit that you work Shakeology into your life every single day of this program, 
okay? Not for any reason other than the fact that one, you guys know I'm a walking billboard for it and it's changed my life. It's incredible, superfoods, adaptogens, high fiber, amazing stuff to fill in all the gaps of our nutrition and there's a lot of that in America. But two, it's going to truly help um, prevent and reduce soreness and it's going to promote recovery uh, as we do these workouts, okay? I'm not trying to scare you, but this program is called the Shift Shop for a reason. We're committing to this together for a reason, okay? This isn't just your regular old jazzercise class. Um, so your body and your muscles are gonna be used in ways that they haven't been used in a while, if ever. So they're gonna be sore. If you drink that Shakeology every single day, I promise the soreness will be less. And I promise that when you go to sleep at night, your muscles will be so much more fueled to be able to recover, restore, and build, okay? Because that's what it's all about. Now, speech body performance um, is like, for example, the pre-workout. Chris will talk about that. I don't talk about it much because, you know, we each have our own supplements that we like. But beach body performance includes a pre-workout, which is called Energize. There's a post-workout, which is called Recover, which if you make it the way I make it, it tastes like raw brownie powder, and it's insane. Um, post-workout is just a huge dose of protein and antioxidants, again, to like promote that muscle recovery and reduce soreness. I fell in love with it when I did ADD Obsession, game changer for me. So ask me questions about it, tell you how to, how to um, get that for yourself if you want to do it and Chris will talk about it too so um, you might find that that's something you want but let's see that's where we were okay so you need to have those items and then the jumpstart guide talks about prep week okay now Chris doesn't make the prep week uh, workouts Monday through Thursday optional I'm doing that just because we're coming off a holiday and I didn't want to bombard you guys over the holiday weekend with all the stuff to start today because, you know, I historically know that doesn't really work. Um, so we're all grown women. We're going to choose what works for us Monday through Thursday. You know that we're jumping into the workouts on um, Friday and Saturday. But what I will tell you is there is also each day a nutrition lesson to learn, okay? So you guys will see all this nutrition lesson to learn. So for today, the quick lesson for him for, for that he wants us to learn, or I guess he's calling it a nutrition task. So each day of prep week, we have one physical task and one nutrition task, okay? So the first one of day one is to learn to hydrate, okay? So he's gonna talk to you about the importance of hydration. Um, if you don't already know my spiel on it, you need to be drinking at least half your body weight in ounces of water every day. Okay, so for me, I weigh 160 pounds. I need to be drinking at least 80 ounces of water every day. I, I aim for more than that and I pee all day long, but that's okay. Um, and then every day he's gonna have a task for us, okay? And I will speak to that a little bit because one of them is about um, choosing the proper nutrition plan for us. Um, and I actually follow a completely different eating plan than than what he has for us. It's it's similar, but it's a lifestyle thing that I do, um, which I've talked about a few times. So I want, but I did follow Chris's nutrition plan for Shift Shop to the T when I did it a year and a half ago. And I want to support you in that if that's what you would like to do. So we'll speak about those, but just know that every day this week, there is a physical task and a nutrition task. Okay? So... You're gonna to wanna to do those, okay? And then, step four of the Jumpstart Guide is we begin the shift shop. And we will officially dive in, as you can see on your calendar, we officially dive in on Monday with speed 25. Just a quick heads up, I know this from experience, week one of shift shop, 25 minute workouts. Week two, 35 minute workouts, and week four, Week, week three, my God, uh, 45 minute workouts. So they do build in time and intensity, but um, totally doable, right? You can find 25 minutes, especially because you're not driving to the gym. All right. So that's what we have. I am choosing today to take my pups out for a run and more than likely I will come home and then just tack on the 15 minute quick shift speed so I can kind of get my son a little rusty of course on the shift shop because it's been a year and a half. Um, 
but I am super, super excited to be doing this with you and uh, there'll be more to come and I just love accountability. So the best way that you can be accountable is to just, let's chat, let's talk, let's share our um, wins, our opportunities for improvement, and I absolutely adore more than life itself, sweaty selfies, because that's the ultimate accountability. All right? Love you. Talk soon. Bye.